Hey, welcome to D-Lab, everybody. We have a Fender Champ on the bench with reported low gain. A letter here from the owner. It says, Terry Enclosed is the champ that I texted you about seeking your magic fix. Saying these amps are anemic is a perfect description. I look forward to hearing from you and the improvements that you deem necessary. All right, we're going to breathe some gain into this champ. All right, here is the initial gain check of the Fender Champ. The customer reports that it is anemic. There's just not much gain at all. So right now I'm running all the original tubes. We're using a signal generator at approximately 700 hertz as our input. We're going into a D-Lab dummy head box. The output is going to the scope so we can see the sine wave being amplified through the Champ. We're also monitoring the bias on the 6V6. So let's see what that bias is first off. We've got 24 volts divided by 470 ohms. We're idling at about 51 milliamps, which is way too high for that 6V6. So I'm assuming the poor guy is baked. All right, so we're going to leave the setup. I'm going to turn the volume up. I have the bass and treble set at 5. We're going to go full bore. And there it is. You see we have approximately five and a half to six divisions on the scope. Now I'm going to perform the repairs and we will retest the gain of the champ. So here are the items that I'll be addressing before we retest. I checked the 6V6 and it is weak. It's down to about 50% emissions. So we're going to put in a fresh 6V6 tube. We're going to rebias that 6V6 tube and we're going to change the capacitor from a 25 microfarad to a 100 microfarad across the new bias resistor. We're going to change the plate resistors on the 12AX7 from 100K to 220K to increase the gain since you lose signal through the base and treble controls. We're also going to change the resistor which is the 6V6 grid leak resistor Currently it is a 220K. We're going to install a 560K. Alright, I've incorporated all the changes to the champ and I'm ready to repeat our gain test. Nothing has changed. The setup is identical. But now when we turn that pot to 10, let's hope that we just don't see a standard sine wave. Let's hope that we see breakup because that's what you want your champ to do. Here we go. There we are, I'm about 7 on the dial. There's full bore. And I can actually hear the amp ringing out of the dummy load resistors. So it looks like we've increased the gain quite a bit. Alright, let's put it on a speaker and listen to it. Here's a test of the champ using a looper. Let's bring up the volume. It's about 5. it up till it distorts. So it's distorting now at approximately 8 on the volume control. Before the owner said he could crank it up full blast and could never achieve distortion. It's mission accomplished.